in our previous video we studied that how we can capture a 3d model of ligand target interaction today we are going to discuss that how we can make 2d two-dimensional model of the ligand target interaction suppose we have a saved file in discovery studio visualizer file dsv file and uh, i am going to open it now it is the previously saved file and uh, I am going to make a 2D model of this 3D interaction. So here we will move to show 2D diagram. Now it has opened our 2D diagram of this 3D interaction, which represents uh, these are the covalent bonding and interaction with nickel atoms, which are present inside the urease. So it is the active site of urease, and these are other residues and these other interactions so all these type of interactions will be shown here so now we can modify it uh, please remember that the color of the uh, ligand will be the same that we have in 3d model like here it is yellow it will be shown yellow now we can flip it we want to flip vertical or horizontal if the pose is not uh, looking good and then we can move to display style now we can change the uh, font and scale let's pause we use times new roman so it is times new roman this is the interaction font times new roman okay background color you may select any background Now it represents that <coughs> we want to display the style of our ligand let's suppose I am going to make it ball and stick model and this is the size we can adjust our size and this is the solvent accessible surfaces so I am going to remove it we can also make this uh, ligand uh, with different colors custom colors but if it is here written that 3d atom so it will take a color from 3d docking pose then residue i'm going to make it a disc it is now it is like ball model and i'm going to show it in disc model and i'm going to increase the size as 0.9 here i'm going to remove this and we can also color from residues with different but uh, it, if it is colored by interaction then it will be best now moving on to interactions uh, how, how how many types of interactions uh, it is showing no i will i will remove non-classical hydrogen bond and others are hydrophobic pi hydrophobic interactions and these are the metal interaction sulfur lone pairs interaction so apply okay now it is our 2d docking pose and uh, you can make it according to your own taste so now if i'm going to save it i will save it like click here now it will save in 2d pose save as so you can write a name image file let's pause i'm going to write it compound 7 saving at desktop image file save now we can adjust pixels for this or we can save in inches let's suppose i am going to save it in width of 8 inches it will keep the aspect ratio or you want to make width or right according to your own and then save now i am going to show you that this file will be saved here image file okay, or compound seven. It is saved here. Okay. and you can also save this file 3d file in different formats like i want to save it in dsv discovery studio file format 
or you can save it as mol to file or pdb file so mol to file and pdb file can be used to open in chimera or molecular operating environment or other softwares okay but in this case if we are going to save it in mol to or pdb file then when we open it it will be shown like this that uh, ribbon model of the protein and it will not show the interaction that you saved previously so if you are going to save it in dsv file then it will show this okay 